Christine's husband, Dr. Sherman, has just phoned the New Jersey State Police with an emergency. I wasn't too far from the call when he came in, only a mile or two, so it didn't take me all that long to get there. Once he arrives at the farm, Officer Billings realizes he's in for a long night. Dr. Sherman and his daughter meet him outside the horse barn. And Christine's husband has a shocking diagnosis. His wife's inside, and her condition is dire. He explained to me he took her pulse, that there was no pulse, she was deceased. Dr. Sherman tells the officer that his daughter found Christine dead after returning home from class at a local college, and that she ran to get his help. She had a bunch of different emotions you could tell go through her. She went from sad and crying to angry. But oddly, Dr. Sherman's demeanor is the polar opposite. He's as cool as a cucumber. There was no tears, no excitement. He wasn't hysterical, uh, like you might if you found a spouse or loved one dead. And when Officer Billings steps inside the barn and spots Christine's body, he's even more surprised by the doctor's stoic reaction. The barn was well lit, the floor was concrete, and only a few steps in, Mrs. Sherman was down, prone, face down with her head turned. Basically, she was on her belly. At first glance, Christine's cause of death isn't readily apparent. There was very little blood, so the theories were maybe if she got hit kicked by a horse, we don't know if she fell, hit her head on something, or what the case was. Luckily, Dr. Sherman points to a clue that may help police figure out the cause of Christine's mysterious demise. A wound behind her ear that sure looks like it was made by a bullet. But how did Dr. Sherman find the wound so quickly? Was it because he was the one who pulled the trigger? Knowing that's a possibility, Billings tells the doctor to stop the examination so he doesn't ruin any evidence. I told him, don't touch anything until we figure out what's going on. I understand your wife, I understand you're a doctor, but don't touch a thing. You need to preserve the entire scene. When a quick look around gives no hints as to what happened at the Sherman farm, Officer Billings knows he needs to call for some backup. 